Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices, they got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Texas back on the Madden 18, and I wasn't going to put this out because I thought the information was readily available to those that are out there, but it seems like in my comment section, even in my DMs, a lot of you guys do not know how to level up fast over here in Madden. Even though there are videos on multiple guys' channel about this. Now, I'm not going to castigate you guys so much for not being able to go to YouTube and type in how to level up fast Madden 18, which will pop up my video. I think Wills has one, Xerxes, Vic, a lot of stuff out there at your fingertips. But because you guys want to watch for me, I got you. I got you back. And the way I leveled up fast over here in this game was knocking out this particular solo sequence right there where you got to get 20 plus passing yards on one play. As you guys can read the description. If you get 100, 25 extra XP for getting 50 plus passing yards. And then on top of that, if you get a touchdown, you get more XP as well. Now the plan uh, typically run the and the solo the challenges use me to create crossers and hope it's might cover one Man or cover zero, team. where I can have a guy streaking across the middle of the field and go deep and get a touchdown. But that doesn't work consistently enough for me, especially if they're out here in cover three, cover four. You can't really throw a touchdown or one play touchdown for those types of plays. But what I've noticed is whenever you run post route, corner, post route, in cover three, cover two especially, cover one, or just man in general, the corner route or the post route gets always open, except for against them. And it works consistently. It doesn't take too long to get inside the down, get you back out of it, get you XP. You do this enough. So what I did was, I did this in another solo challenge for like four hours, and that's how I got 200 XP every two minutes. Now, this is tedious as hell. Like, if you're playing this game every day, you don't got to force yourself to level up. Reason why I was doing that was because I wanted to provide you guys with the information about what you get out of said packs before you guys got there. That's why I grind it. But if you're playing this game every day, whether it be Mutt Squads, whether it be Draft Champions, whether it be Weekend League, Solo Channel, like you can pretty much get to the overall max naturally. There's no rush to it unless you want to pull packs this weekend, but those packs are going to be in the store forever. So there's no rush in knocking those out right away. So you can either do that solo challenge. They got a ton more. Complete four passes in a row of 125 XP. I believe you also get a touch. If you do what a touchdown on the first play, whatever, you get more XP. So you can, you can find out these solos that give you XP. Here's the pitch one I was talking about earlier. So some cool stuff right now. You can also do another one, which gets you, I think, 15 less XP. But the best one is going to be that second one, Veteran. If you want to go ahead and try your luck and just throw post routes for four hours and just not get bored of it, that is going to be the best way to level up fast. Time, but there's always next time. And we'll see you Even next though, like time. I said, there's no rush whatsoever. So we're trying this right now. Again, post routes, gun spread. This is in a lot of playbooks. Sometimes you got Getting seven guys blocking, which is all you might need. Ten. For some reason, if they send like a max blitz at you, your six guys are picking up seven. So one guy comes through all the time. Awesome. Let's oh, have that cut box that right guy. Away. They're out here in cover he's two. And it's an easy throw over the top for Deshaun Jackson runs quick to the end. You guys will level up fast. Those Deshaun are the things that I did. Hope you guys found this video informative. If you guys did, please hit that thumbs up button and share with your friend so they can stop asking me my DMs. Because like, I like my DMs, but I don't like questions like this, which you can just go to YouTube and type Shout out to those that follow me on Twitter. Shout out to those that comment down below. And if you do this enough, you soon will be level 40 and also soon pulling this legendary pack for $20. Hopefully you guys pull some fire out of it because tonight we'll find out if my pack is going to produce greatness or produce poop. I'm leaning towards poop.